Magandang buhay at welcome po muli dito sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ituturo is how to find the slope of a line given the equation. Kagaya po nito, 12x plus 3y is equal to 8 and x minus 7y is equal to negative 3. So paano nga ba kunin yung kanyang slope? So sa video na ito, iyan po ang aking ituturo sa inyo step by step. Okay, so how to find the slope given the equation of a line. So number one example, what is the slope of a line 12x plus 3y is equal to 8? So paano nga ba natin kunin yung kanyang slope? So dapat alam po natin yung slope intercept form. Yan po ay y is equal to mx plus b. Wherein yung m po dyan ay slope at yung b ay y intercept. So, ano po yung gagawin natin dyan? So, mula po sa given na equation, 12x plus 3y is equal to 8, gawin po natin yan na y is equal to mx plus b na form. So, paano po natin yan gagawin? If you notice sa ating pong form, ang nasa left side po ng equal sign ay y lang po. So, ibig sabihin, sa ating pong equation, 12x plus 3y is equal to 8, yung 3y po ay may iwan sa left side. So, ito pong 12x, ililipat po natin sa right side. Ano po? So, pag nilipat po yung 12x, ang matitira po sa left side ay 3y. So, yung 12x, pag nilipat po natin, positive po siya, gawin po natin siyang negative. Kaya, negative 12x, and then isama po natin yung 8 na nasa right, since positive 8 siya, kaya plus 8. Okay? So, mula sa ating given na slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b, y lang po yung nandun sa left side. So, yung equation po natin ay 3y. So, tatanggal po natin yung 3 para maging y lay. Y lang po. So, paano po natin tatanggal yung 3? I-divide po natin ng 3 lahat ng terms sa ating equation. Ano po? So, yan. So, lahat po yan di-divide natin ng 3 para equal po. So, bakit po natin di-divide yung 3? Again, ika-cancel po natin yung 3. So, ang may titira po doon ay y na lang po. So, y is equal to 12x divided by 3. So, 12 divided by 3 or negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4x plus hindi na po natin pwedeng i-divide yung 8 over 3. So, pwede lang pong 8 over 3. So, ito na po yung ating equation. So, idala po natin doon sa form. Tingnan po natin. So, yan na po yung slope intercept form ng equation. So, ano po yung m dyan or slope? Ito po. So, ang slope po natin dyan ay yung kasama ng x, negative 4. So, m is equal to negative 4. At, ito po, b, 8 over 3. So, again, ang m po natin or slope ay negative 4. At yung b, 8 over 3, yan po yung ating y-intercept. Okay, so another example po para mas maintindihan po natin yung lesson. Number 2, example. What is the slope of x minus 7y is equal to negative 3? So, ang given naman po nitong equation ay mayroong minus. So, again, kailangan po i-transform natin yung equation into slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b. So, ito po yung ating given na equation. So, paano po natin yan itatransform in that form? So, again, yung y po, ay matitira sa left side. So, ito pong x ulit, ay ililipat po natin sa right side. So, matitira po sa left side ay, since minus 7y, gawin po nating negative 7y. Kasi yun po yung kanyang sign. Ano po? So, minus 7y, meaning to say, negative 7y po yun. Okay? So, pag nilipat po natin yung x, magiging positive po siya, magiging negative x, and then yung negative 3 sa right, dagdag po natin, minus 3. So, again, sa ating form, y lang po ang nasa left side. Since may kasama pong negative 7, i-divide po natin yan ng negative 7. Lahat po ng terms. So, divide by negative 7. Divide by negative 7. Okay? And then, simplify po natin. So, negative 7, divide by negative 7. Cancel po natin. Ang matitira po doon ay y is equal to If you notice, yung negative x over negative 7, pwede pong isimplify magiging Positive po yan. Kaya positive x over 7. 
At yun pong negative 3 divided by negative 7, magiging positive po yan, kaya magiging plus 3 over 7. Okay? So, ilipat po natin doon sa ating slope-intercept form. So, yan na po yung transformable po na uh, form or slope form ng given na equation. So, paano po kukunin yung slope dyan? So, dito po, e eh, ano po yung number dyan? Yan po yung kasama ng x, yung numerical coefficient ng x ay 1. So, ang slope po natin dyan ay fraction. So, 1 po yung kasama ng x kung wala po kayong nakikita, numerical coefficient. Kaya magiging 1 over 7. Hindi po kasama yung x sa slope. Yan po ay variable. Ano po? So, ang slope po niya, m ay 1 over 7. Plus, 3 over 7, yan po yung b. So, b is 3 over 7. So, again, ang slope ay 1 over 7 at ang y-intercept ay 3 over 7. Okay, so another example, number 3. So, how about kung ganito po yung given? What is the slope of 6x is equal to 2y plus 8? So, paano po natin kukunin yan yung slope? So, again, kailangan natin i-transform into y is equal to mx plus b form or slope-intercept form. So, ito po yung ating given. If you notice, yung 2y ay nasa left side ng equal sign. So, paano po natin ita-transform yan into y is equal to mx plus b? So, ganito lang po yan. Ito pong 2y, dapat po ay nasa left side. Ano po? So, ililipat po natin sa left side. So, positive 2y, pag nilipat sa left side, magiging negative 2y. Okay? At, itong x, dapat ay nasa right side. So, ililipat din po natin. So, Positive 6x, pag nilipat sa right side, magiging negative 6x. And then, yung pong 8, hindi pa po nagagalaw, iladaglag po lang po natin sa right side plus 8. So, ayan. Uh, yung y po ay nasa left side na, at yung x ay nasa right side. Since again, may kasama pong negative 2 yung y, i-divide po natin ng negative 2 lahat po ng terms sa ating equation. Okay, so divide by negative 2. So, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is cancel. Ang matitira po doon ay y is equal to negative 6 divided by negative 2. So, negative divided by negative is positive. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then, yung variable na x. So, 3x. And then, 8 divided by 2 is 4. But, positive 8 divided by negative 2. So, positive divided by negative is negative. Kaya, magiging plus negative 4. Okay? So, simplify po natin kasi plus negative, hindi po pwedeng dalawang operation. So, 3x positive times negative is negative, kaya minus 4. So, yan na po yung ating equation in slope-intercept form. Okay? So, itabi po natin. So, y is equal to 3x minus 4. So, ang kanyang slope, m i, 3. At ang kanyang b or y-intercept, since minus 4, ang b po ay negative 4. Okay? So, slope m is 3, y-intercept is negative 4. Okay? So, gawin lang po ang pagkuha ng slope at y-intercept. Okay? So, salamat po sa panood. Kung meron po kayong katanungan, ay comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. Dun. Be sure lang po na kayo po ay nag-like at nag-subscribe upang sa gawin pag ako po ay nag-reply ay... Manotify po kayo sa aking reply.